Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial today I am going to tell you about the info object of characteristics type. I will be explaining you each and every function and options available in this uh, characteristics. Like you can see on the screen, I have created a text characteristics, text CHA and it is having a lot of options like properties and the cardinality, case sensitive, compounding. So I am going to explain you each and everything one by one so that you can easily understand the various use of a info object like uh, what if you select if you activate the info object without you know check marking any of these options then your info object this characteristics will act as a normal character type info object like I have just uh, selected the data type as character you can have uh, multiple options like numerical as well so you can uh, check, uh, you can change to numeric as well you can change the length as you want and now I'm going to the properties suppose you have multiple options like if you want to add this info object as master the table then if you select on this then your uh, this info object will act as master the table then you have to uh, you have to fill all the attributes you like to have in the master the table then you can load the data into this info object so that you now your your info object can act as master data so once you actually check mark on the master data then it should have some attribute in it so you can see the options are enabled here like you have to you have to put some attributes in it so that your your table can be generated now your info object if you check mark on this text then your info object will generate text table so there will be text table will be generated for that and also you need to set the attribute for text table as well now coming to the hierarchies and if you want to if you want to enable the hierarchies like the edge table like for the master data it's it is the p table for text it is the t table like t will be added just uh, like slash bic slash t and then the your this technical name and if you want to act this uh, info object as hierarchy then select on hierarchy then the hierarchy table will be generated so if you select all these three options then uh, actually you are going to act this info object as master data text and hierarchy table now you have few more uh, few more options like the attribute only and if you check mark this option means that your this info object will be working as display attribute so it will not work as the navigational attribute in the report so and uh, so that's about the attribute and also you can use as authorization relevant suppose if you are if you check mark this then the authorization relevant you know characteristics will be generated so that you know you can restrict the data and it is used for suppose you want to restrict the data for some particular user so using this option and if you don't make this author authorization relevant so these characteristics won't give you the option uh, in order to restrict the data to particular some user and now you have another option that is the usable as info provider and if you check mark this then actually you can define queries on this now I mean this info object can be work as the base source of the query I mean if you if you enable this option then you can utilizing this uh, info object you can create some query uh, in HANA so that's all about these properties and let me tell you a few more like this uh, case sensitive and high cardinality and if you set this case sensitive so it means that if the if this flag is set then the values of these characteristics are not automatically you know transferred to uppercase it means you know like you can see the message is popping up here and it means that if you actually check mark that so whatever the if you load the data into these characteristics and so the data will not be transferred to uppercase so so whatever the data you send so it will be sent like that and the high cardinality and if you check mark this high cardinality option then it will actually tell you it does not have persistent SID values or SID table then then it will not create any SID table you now the S table that you call so it will not be generated for this info object 
now coming a uh, few more options like here you can see so once you enable the master data uh, let me just uncheck all this option like, like you can see this at this moment now these two options are invalid so you cannot check mark here so how can you do that so once you click the master data then if you actually enable the info object as master data then you can see the option the external SAP HANA view for master data table is generated it means actually you are generating the attribute view and of these characteristics so if you enable this then actually you can use these characteristics as an attribute view and now so how can you use this this one the external SAP HANA view for reporting so if you click on this usable as info provider if you just click on that so this option will be enabled and now if you just check mark on this then actually you are going to generate the analytic view for this characteristics so in the in this first option you are going to generate the attribute view and the next option you are going to generate the analytic view so that is how actually you are going to have a lot of options in in object characteristics so thank you for watching that's all about the tutorial and if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do so and also look into my other tutorials i have given the links in the below description thank you for watching have a nice day